What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So EA have released a new player objective and it is going to be Moment Verdi to review. It's a card that definitely looks top tier, but a card that they didn't just upgrade his stats. They actually went ahead and gave him a skill move upgrade as well. So we are now looking at a Verdi with five star skill moves, a three star weak foot with medium low work rates, and he is a five foot six player as well. The work rates on anything amazing, I must admit, we all would have preferred high medium, but it is what it is. And obviously the weak Weak foot isn't anything special as well. We all would have preferred a four star weak foot, but hey, EA went ahead and gave this guy a skill move upgrade, and that's all we can really ask for. Now, with the stats, look top tier 92 pace, 87 dribbling, 88 shooting, 82 passing, with a 71 physicals as well. Now, the chem style I've decided to go for is the Hunter chem style. You can use three different chem styles on this card. You can use the Hunter chem style if you just want to give him maxed out pace. You can give him the Hawk chem style if you want to give him better long shots and obviously extra physicals, but you can also go ahead and give him the Marksman chem style, which gives him better dribbling stats. Now, the reason I do not believe this card is going to need better dribbling stats is because his dribbling is already really really nice especially the fact that he's a five foot six player with a short and lean minus body type all those three combining together i feel like he will feel good on the ball but i'm telling you guys right now if he doesn't feel good on the ball with those five star skill moves 100 i'll switch it halfway through this review to a marksman chem style but for now i'm gonna give the hunter a go see how it goes because especially him being a right winger aka you know that right mid right around position is where i feel like he's going to be mostly playing in i am going to give him the maxed out pace that 99 acceleration 99 sprint speed is going to be huge down the line now with the shooting ability also gets obviously upgraded with the hunter chem style he has got 93 attack and positioning 95 finishing 99 shot power this guy inside the box should be very clinical he also has got 85 long shots with 99 volleys and 88 penalties as well now you do have to keep in mind the hawk chem style giving this guy the extra long shots yes it'll be very nice saying that he is a left footer 99 curve no finesse shot trait but you know the long shots would be very very good with the shooting right it's just the hunter chem style once again giving him the maxed out pace is what i've decided to go for now the passing ability it's looking quite bang average isn't it like there's not really anything special behind it the free kick accuracy looks amazing the curve looks amazing as well the short passing looks meh and the long passing doesn't look great it definitely does seem like verdi will be one of those players that you are going to have to keep it very very simple with now he's dribbling stats as i said before he's dribbling stats look good they don't look anything outrageous but they just straight up look good right he's got 94 agility 97 balance 90 reactions 87 ball control 85 dribbling with the 86 composure as well and if we are looking at the physicals he has got 90 jumping which is quite surprising for a 5 foot 6 player do i believe he'll be a player winning headers i really doubt it he has got 88 stamina which tells me he will be lasting for the whole of the 90 minutes and he has got 65 strength with 60 aggression as well now the links the links are very good. You know, he's Italian. He comes from a Serie as well. You get strong links with uh, Darmian. You get a strong link with uh, Berella, let's say. So yeah, the links are definitely top tier. I've just gone for icons. I've gotten Makaleli and Stroikov to get him on full chem. Now, the positions. I am going to be playing this guy in two positions. I'm going to be playing this guy, obviously, down the line in his natural position in a 4-2-3-1 uh, in a RAM position. But I'm also going to be playing him in that strike position in a 4-4-2 because I really want to see how good his shooting ability is going to be. So let's get into the games and let's see how good of a card he actually is. You're going to give that over to Makaleli. Go for that turn. There you go. Verdi on the ball. Can I go for a ball roll scoop? Nice ball roll scoop. Nice little touch as well. Look how he's feeling on the ball. You see those little tight touches? Nice flip flap. Can I get the ball roll as well? You know what? Let's go for it. Let's see how it's going to go with the finesse shot. And it doesn't really end up too well. But the dribbling there seemed very nice. I'm just going to driven that into Mbappe. Verdi, you're going to make that movement? You are going to make that movement. Nice run as well. Look at the amount of pace. Do you get in behind there? Can I driven that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, did it count as his goal? I think it did. Wait, was it an own goal? No. Wait, the keeper. What is the keeper doing? Can I go for a 1-2 here? I really want to just use his pace to get in behind. Can I go for the chip as well? It wasn't like anything special with chip, right? I was expecting like a chip volley. But hey, we will take the goal. 10 minutes in though, and this guy's already quit. Kind of want to get a drone pass towards him. There you go. Quick one, two. There you go, man. We'll roll that. Take it calm. Go for the power shot as well. I thought for a second the defender was going to go up and get completely sent. But my opponent does really well to actually defend against that. 
I'm just going to play a through ball there. That's literally perfect. Nice touch as well. Good ball roll. No, he starts to do a little bit of a falling over animation there as soon as he gets a little bit of contact on his shoulder. That is not what I want to see. Nice ball roll. Nah, come on. Make a run there, Birdie. You see how he's not really trying to make a run there? And then he finally does it. He eventually sees that gap. And that is a good pass, but we couldn't get the finish. I don't like that about him, you know? I don't like that about him. Saying that he's got the pace and everything to get him behind, I would need him to be more aggressive there. It's just with him having, obviously, the medium-low work rates, I kind of expect him not to be too aggressive. I'm just going to pass that all the way across. Play through the gap. Perfect. Him with a roulette. Nice acceleration. Good touches. Him with a ruler again. No way. Referee. Surely something. It seems like he actually tackled through me there. Red card? No, it's not a red card. I didn't even click a tackle button though. I definitely do want to give the finesse a go just to see if it's actually going to fly into the back of the net. Go on. There you go, man. There's the finesse we was looking for. My opponent wasn't really respecting me when it came down to the long shot there. It seems like he wanted to see if I was actually going to score it. Can I get driven? Yeah, there you go. Nice little turn as well. Use your pace now. Perfect. Can I go for a ball roll? Just keep it quite calm. Three star weak foot. Three star weak foot. How has he missed that? How? What am I... No, 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 no. I've literally done everything perfect. The ball roll around the keeper and everything. And then he misses that. Anyone going to give me an option? I need to pass back to Kapu. Pass it across. There you go to Mbappe. Extra pass to Ferdi. Go for a turn. Nice little turns. Can I get the finish? Yes, we can, man. Really nice side netting finish there. Keeper really had no chance. And that was nice turns. Three quick touches. He's going to make a run down there. He is, man. He realizes where the open space is. We're going to chip him. Three star weak foot. Can chip at that angle. First time as well. Hmm. Well, it, it can't, it can't uh, score an open goal. Now, that's an interesting one. Kind of want to go for a 1 2 again. But I'm not really going to get it to go. Nice turns. Keep it calm. Well played. Look at that. No, I've overdone it. I've overdone it. I wanted to get round the last player just to make it look a little bit better. But I, yeah, I 100% overdone it and completely screwed up the opportunity. Give it quick before you end up losing that ball. Let me just give it to Verdi here. Send Mbappe on a run. That touch wasn't actually the greatest, but that's nice turns. Well played. Really good touches. Valak actually uses his strength against him. You know what? We're going to go for it. It's going to be a power shot. And I was way, way too ambitious. I am definitely thinking of putting a marksman Kemsa on him just to see how much better he's actually going to feel on the ball. He feels nice right now. He just, he hasn't got that like quick factor that someone like Lionel Messi obviously has to their game. This guy's on me. He's tracking me perfectly. There you go. I got a pass off. To Mbappe. Up to Verdi. Nice touch. Can I still chip him? Please say I'll save this. No way. I did the Elastico the wrong way, man. Nice little turn as well. Can I give it over to Makaleli? I can. I have actually changed him to a marksman chem star now. So we're going to see how he's actually going to feel on the ball. I want to see if he actually feels way better than he than he does with the hunter chem star. And I can tell you guys right now. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he 100% does. I red timed it. How has that gone in? How, what? I've actually gone for like two finesse shots non-timed, right? And it hasn't gone anywhere near the target. But then as soon as I red time it, it flies into the back of the net. I can tell you guys right now, he feels better on the ball than Marksman Kems, though. I can tell by just those like very precise little touches, which he wasn't really taking with the Hunter Kems. He would do it time to time, but it wouldn't be quite, it wouldn't be very consistent. Good turn. We're all to a scoop. Just pass it down to Mbappe. Give it back to him. He's not controlling Sule. It's like he's AI defending. Him with a reverse, go for the power shot now. That's right into the top corner. I might actually cut in and go for a finesse shot. Let's see how this turns out. It was a tight angle. I wanted to give it a go just to see if it was actually going to work out. Can I get the ball there, though? I can. Fake it. Oh, pretty legs. We're all to a scoop. Fake shot again. Here with a flip flap. No, man. I thought we'd done him dirty as well. I definitely want to give his passing a go just to see if it actually is like 73 long passing. So what we're going to do is... We're going to see if we can play this ball all the way over to your boy Vinny. And for 73 long passing, that is not bad at all. And he's actually gave me... Is that him? No, it is. That's Stroikov. Is that him? That is him, right? Yeah, that is him. On a three-star weak foot, he scores that first time. Yeah, acceleration. Ball roll scoop. This guy's an AI defender. You can clearly see that he's not controlling your boy Varane. But look at the dribbling. No, man. Nah. EA, you couldn't allow that to go in. Like, do you see how much better his dribbling actually is with that marksman chem style? It honestly is mind-blowing. I didn't expect it to be so much better. That's a good ball. Play that through ball. Can I go for a turn? Oh, that's rude. Chip him as well. 
I always have to ruin it, don't I? I always, always have to ruin it. I do something amazing, absolutely turn the defender inside out. And then I just apparently don't want to go for an easy finish. I want to chip the keeper as well. I can actually definitely tell like the skill moves do come off way nicer as well with the marksman chem style. With the hunter chem style, sometimes after I did a skill move, it would go a little bit too far. But with the marksman chem style, it's perfect. It doesn't go too far at any point. And look at that for a finish. Let's give that long pass another go. I want to see if this is actually going to work out. Okay, yeah. All right. There's the 73 long passing coming to play. That was absolutely dreadful. As soon as it left his ball, I knew it was going to go nowhere near the player. Can I get this? Nice one, sir. Well played. Played over top. That's perfect. Now it's like a 1v1 with Virgil van Dijk. Let's see what we can possibly do to him. Stop it here. Here with a last go through the middle. Pass it across to Mbappe. No, man. Oh, good turn. Good turn again. Let's go in front. Do you know what happened there? Chain skill moves happened. That's what happened, man. No way that will went that far. If chain skill moves wasn't a thing, I reckon we can go for a few more skills there, beat a player, and we can actually score a goal. So it is time to review, and we ended up playing five games with Verdi. We actually scored eight goals, but we didn't come out with a single assist. Now, if we're talking about the chem style for this card, it all depends on how you want to use him. If you want to use him as a pace merchant in that right winger position, you go for the hunter chem style, you give him maxed out pace, and that's pretty much it, right? It's just... If you don't like how he feels on the ball and you don't mind the 92 acceleration, 92 sprint speed, you 100% go for the marksman chem style. He felt so much better on the ball as soon as I applied the marksman chem style. Yes, I'm missing out on that quick acceleration, getting him in behind every single time and no one being able to catch up to me. It's just the way he was feeling on the ball, I will 100% sacrifice that pace because... As soon as I got him on the ball, I could tell the touches, the skill moves, they came off so much nicer with the marksman than they did with the hunter. The hunter still feels good. As I said, it still feels very nice. He still takes very good touches. There's certain skill moves that you pull off that come off quite nicely as well. It's just... I genuinely couldn't believe how much better it actually was with the marksman. Now, the shooting ability, left foot, it flies into the back of the net. It's just that three-star weak foot as well lets this card down. Like... There was a chip I did with a freestyle weak foot, it went in. There was a first time shot I did with a freestyle weak foot, it hit crossbar down. But then, as soon as I ball rolled round the keeper, wide open goal, he missed the whole target. That's a freestyle weak foot for you. There's certain occasions it will fly into the back of the net. There's other occasions where it will miss the easiest, easiest of chances. So yeah, the freestyle weak foot is definitely, definitely not great to work with. The physicals, he's definitely one of those cards... That does get bully off the ball. If you match up against a Kempembe, you match up against a Virgil van Dijk, a Showdown Sule, a Showdown PK, any of those kind of players, yes, 100%, he will be getting pushed off the ball. I saw it in a lot, and I mean a lot of occasions. And another thing that I felt like wasn't anything amazing on this card was the medium-low work rates. The medium low work rate is definitely weird to work with because I saw a lot of occasions where he could easily run in behind and he didn't go for it. He was he was forcing himself, let's say, to come short even though there was a gap in behind that he could easily run into it. So if you are playing this guy in like a strike or even right ram position or anything like that, put the game behind instruction. Please put the game behind instruction. Trust me, it will be so much better for you. Now, obviously, this is an objective card, so it's free, right? All you need to do is put your time into it, and then you'll eventually get it. Now, is it worth the grind? Is it worth the time to put into? 100% it is. It's an easy objective to do as well. It really isn't that hard. It's probably one of the easy, easiest obje objective players that we've actually seen in FIFA 22. So yeah, it is worth the grind. It is worth the time to put into. Now, is he the best right winger slash right mid in this Serie A, the thing is right, he is the only five-star skiller. So, if you're looking for a five-star skiller in that right mid slash right wing position in this Serie A, you got your boy Verdi. But do I believe this Verdi card is better than Politano? I don't. Do I believe he is better than Chiesa? I'm going to be honest, I don't. So yeah, he is definitely up there because of the five-star skill moves, but I don't believe he is better than Kiesa team at a group stage or a uh, Europa League SBC. Oh yeah, it's, it was a Politano SBC, wasn't it? The Europa League one. And I don't believe he's better than that Politano card either. I completely forgot Politano was an SBC. Now, do I believe he is a player that deserves to go into the A-plus in the attacker's tier list? I don't. Do I believe he deserves to go into the A-tier though? Yeah, I do. 
listen, even though he's not one of those players that's got a weak foot, a nice weak foot, let's say he isn't one of those players that's got a nice work rate to his game. He feels amazing on the ball of Marksman Chem style. He still has great pace to his game. His shooting on the left foot is really, really solid as well. See, I definitely would put this verdict card into the A tier. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.